What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking Johnson. Before and today, people, we're gonna keep on talking about Call of Duty World War II. So today's topic is about a very, very controversial decision made by the developer of Call of Duty World War II, Michael Condry. He decided to add females into the game of Call of Duty World War II. A lot of big YouTubers out there are spazzing out over this, they're literally overreacting about this decision and people have been making crazy videos, they have been doing some name calling, a lot of feminism to be blamed here and all, they're, they are actually going like crazy out there in their videos and they can't control themselves, like they're literally like triggered at this point. And uh, I do have my opinion about this whole situation, you know, adding female characters into World War II. Did, was there actually females in World War II? I believe as nurses though, but I'm not sure as soldiers. But uh, there has been some images floating around here and there at charlieintel.com and I checked it out. And maybe it's legit, I don't know. But at the end of the day, in my opinion, I think it doesn't matter. Like... As long as they keep the game human-like, of course, because I know people are going to be like, oh, it doesn't matter if they add females, what happens if they add monsters or zombies next time? Like, of course, that's a little bit exaggerated, but keep the game as human-like as possible. And, you know, adding females shouldn't have been a big problem, because another thing is, it doesn't affect gameplay. But people yet overreact over this. Like, they need to calm the hell down, especially White Boy Sam shit over there, who's like, oh, feminism is to blame here, blah, blah. Like, he's literally pissing his own pants over this whole situation. And I'm like, bruh, calm the hell down. Like, aren't Call of Duty players supposed to be worrying about who wins, how you win the game, gameplay, how you're gonna pull off all them kills? That's how it's supposed to be. But instead, the Call of Duty community is worry worrying about their image. When in reality, there's like camels, like the one that I'm holding right now, taking over the game, but yet people do not complain because they're weapon camels. Like, it's insane. Like, how, how can people complain about feminism taking over the game, but they don't complain about the camels that are in the game, like all neon like and freaking rainbow colors? Like, that's insane, man. Like, that's really ignorant right there. But, uh,. You know, that's how Call of Duty YouTubers are nowadays. They just overreact for everything. And like for me, I'm not overreacting over this. I'm just thinking like, all right, cool. You know, add females to the game and it won't change the way I play the game. If I do good at the game, it didn't change the way I play the game, like at all. I remember when Call of Duty Ghost, that was the first time they ever added females into the game. And everybody was like, you know, overreacting like, oh, why is there females, blah, blah. And, you know, it didn't change the way I played the game. The mechanics did though, because the gameplay was freaking terrible, but, you know, after after all of that, it wasn't a big deal. Because in Black Ops 3, there were still females in the game, and I still ended up doing great in that game. So as you can see, it doesn't affect gameplay, it only affects the way you see the game, and that's about it. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, it's his, his, um, historical inaccuracy. Like, it's not, that's not what, how it happened back in the day. World War II didn't have females, blah, blah. And I'm thinking to myself, like, well... I mean, when I was playing like Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, do you think soldiers out there go out in quickscope? Because if they were to actually pull that off in real life, they can pop their own eyes out. <laughs> like, you know, the recoil of the sniper is super high. And for them to be quickscoping out there in the field like that, they're going to be popping their eyes out. Like, bad. Your eye will fall out like the next second you shoot that gun. So it's incredible how this Call of Duty community is like literally ignoring the facts of the game when... It shouldn't have been a big problem. Like, soldiers out there do not quickscope. Soldiers out there do not drop shot. Well, actually, they have to drop down when there's a shot, of course. But, like, it's 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 not real. This game is just an arcade game. That's what it is. So people should not worry about females in the game. Worry about how you play the game. And do not blame how the game looks. Because it's all about skill. It's all about how you bring it up into the game. How you bring... How you present yourself in the game. And uh, it shouldn't have been a big problem. Like, that's my opinion about this whole situation, guys. So, what do you guys think about this? Because I know White Boy Sam Street over there is, like, throwing feminism, like, feminism, like, fucking throwing tantrums and shit. Like, it's crazy. I'm surprised he has a lot of subscribers about this because it shouldn't have been a big deal. And also, 8Thoughts, I mean, he's going crazy over there. But, like, I guess, you know, he's always been a troll and everything. So, it's not a big deal with him either. But, uh... Why Boy Century is a big deal because he's claiming like, oh, make COD great again and everything. And at the end of the day, he ended up buying the last COD. So, 
how does that work <laughs> so so that is it people that's all i want to talk about today tell me your opinions about this whole situation do you guys think it's controversial do you guys think there's going to be there's not supposed to be females on this game you know let me know in the comment section so that's it subscribe for more you guys want to see more quality topics and also like the video i'll appreciate that a lot